Hi, so I'm currently in Tamale in the northern region of Ghana uh, visiting World African Development Bank and we will be visiting some of their partners to find out uh, some of the projects they have in the region around uh, agriculture, improved uh, mechanized agriculture among other things. So stick and stay, let's see how it goes. My name is Felix Darmani. I'm the National Program Coordinator for the Savannah Zone Agricultural Productivity Improvement Project and the Savannah Investment Program. These two programs are funded by the African Development Bank and of course Government of Ghana to transform agricultural value chains in the savannas of Ghana. SAPE, for example, started in 2018 and it is just about ending this year, 2022 a five-year program. The SIP is also a five-year program. While SAPIP is supporting government flagship program planting for food and jobs, the Savannah Investment Program SIP is supporting the rearing for food and jobs. And so with SAPIP, major commodities such as maize, soya, rice and vegetables have been what this project has promoted over the years. And uh, productivity, in fact, using improved um, uh, technologies, productivity has tremendously increased. My name is Osman Abdullah, the farm manager for Kujo Abimais Farms. Uh, we are in Tamale in the premises of Kujo Abimais Farms. Uh, we are the beneficiaries of SAPIP SIP projects. Uh, we have received a number of assistance through these projects. The pro assistance comes in different ways, through in the form of grants. This grant comes in the form of land development. The project develops the land free of charge for, for us. So I was talking about increment in hectares of land. These hectares of land are being developed by the project, which is free of charge. Uh, we also benefited from assistance in terms of uh, technical assistance, like agronomic assistance, like advisory rules, like um, pest and control, and all other things. We are also assisted in terms of input access. Uh, fertilizer, chemicals, and agrochemicals are being made accessible to the farmer at uh, a reduced cost and also at a credit, which we are being uh, supposed to pay at the end of the harvest season. So it's a very big benefit to us that has enabled us to grow up thus far. And in fact, SAPIPC has actually guided and led us to prosperity. So big kudos to African Development Bank for taking all the costs to, to, to support this enormous venture. We are very mindful and we are thankful for that support. My name is Mohamed Saibu, the CEO of this farm. Actually, we are not really into production of eggs. We are into so many things. Number one, we produce eggs. We produce chicken, that is broilers. We produce guinea fowl as well. We also raise point of labors and then sell it to other farmers. We also have smallholder farmers and then uptakers and then uh, Farmers who depend on us for feed, but we do feed as well. So basically, that is what we do here. Currently, this particular structure alone contains 10,240 eggs. So that was giving us 300 crates of eggs a day. But due to the challenges with the feed, we have to depopulate them to a level that we can cope. Because currently, we have almost half. But we have 3,000, uh, sorry, 5,300 best currently, giving us around 150, 160 degrees a day. Yes. Where is the challenge with this food coming? Yeah, the, the, the challenge has to do with soya bean, basically. Soya bean, maize, and then wheat bran. For the soya is imported from Argentina. So the imported one is very expensive. And now you can't even get local soya to buy in the market. So if the local soil were to be there, then we have local, local processes. They will also process and then 
it will augment the imported one. How yeah. would you describe the demand for your product? Well, demand for X demand for X in, in the north here is very high, but we are not able to supply all our clients. For instance, my X, I have only three customers taking all this. So I schedule them in, in days. I'll take maybe three or two days, give it to one particular customer, another four days, give it to one particular customer, and then another three days. So within the week, I have only three customers taking the whole the whole X. And you know, we have a lot, a lot of clients who also want to join. But because of the challenges we are facing here, they can't, we can't, we can't bring them on board. But we don't want to disappoint them. Um, my name is Mohamed Fairuza, a commercial farmer. Farm name is Jason Farms. I started farming last two years, and uh, I have this uh, support from Sapipsi. I'm a farmer in northern region, precisely Tamale. Uh, I have my farms at Sakpe and Sakpili. It's about 300 acres put together. I've been attracted to farm farming because of uh, this support from Sapip. Sapip has done a lot, a lot marvelously well for farmers, most especially me as a woman. They've encouraged me a lot into farming. Uh, I do uh, soya bean and maize. They actually support us uh, with clearing lands. They cleared all, all the lands I've mentioned for me. They give me uh, subsidized uh, inputs. They also help us uh, harvesting, they do a lot for us. And this I can't uh, do without saying thank you to those that support CEPIPSIP, AFDP. AFDP are the supporters of CEPIPSIP. We appreciate a lot. We, we, we pray that uh, the good work they are doing should not stop, but should help them. I also give a very, very, very big thanks to the government and the agri minister for bringing this kind of idea into being. We appreciate for the support. In fact, we pray that they should do better for us. All they are doing, we appreciate, and it is helping the country. It is appreciate. It is helping the nation to have enough food and even. Thank you very, very, very much. We appreciate this. Thanks so much. Yeah, my name is Philip Hawaiian. I'm Chief Policy Agriculture Economist. Uh, these are the uh, headquarters of Afri African Development Bank. I'm in the Department of Agriculture and Agro-Industry. Uh, essentially, I coordinate the um, ta Tax Savannah Initiative. Uh, essentially, we we are in a number of countries. Ghana is one of the pioneer countries, but we are also in uh, Zambia, um, uh, Mozambique, and uh, other places. What we are seeking to do is to reverse the protection of basic commodities that uh, we have comparative advantage to produce. Um, if you look across the continent, we import in excess of 50 billion worth of uh, food items. And these are food items that we can easily grow on the continent. And the savannah area is very suitable for growing maize, soybean, and actually livestock, including poultry. And that is why this initiative is so focused on the uh, savannah area. Here in Ghana, We've uh, decided to we decided to pilot from 2018. Uh, we invited uh, technical expert from uh, Latin America, from Argentina, to help us replicate what we have done there. A political zone here, just like the Cerrados of, of Latin America. So essentially, we can do the same thing. Uh, we started with a pilot of 87 hectares, and from 2018, 87 hectares, we are now 16,000 hectares. It's been an amazing transformation. Uh, two projects were financed to achieve this. So I'm Clara Shaikwan Zale, a student of the University of Coastal Medicine and a poultry farm. How did you decide to get into poultry farm? Okay, it was first my brother's idea, but he didn't have the capital. So he told me about it. Interestingly, he made me get some passion to start. And when I started, 
I found opportunities like ZIP, I applied, same as MasterCard Foundation, I applied and I was selected in new events. So how has the program impacted uh, on your business? Okay, so um, due to the additional bed added, I have a total number of 500 beds as of now and I get a profit which pays myself and my worker and also helps with the home management and stuff. So what would you tell people who also want to get into this place? Okay, so first of all, I'll tell them to get the insight about poetry because you can't start sports without the business. So it's really important they go train themselves about poetry. Seek for so, like there are so many opportunities out there they can easily tap on and build themselves, get large capital star whatever they want. So I would encourage them to be determined.